everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I am going to be walking you guys through how I make a fire in my wood burning fireplace. I've lived in this home for about four years, I think maybe four winters, and this room is definitely super cold unless I make a fire, and then when I make a fire, it's the warmest room in the house thanks to this guy. And today, I'm basically going to show you how I build my fire in a way that makes it so that the fire lasts just all day long. So the first thing I do uh, is I wipe out the ashes from the previous fire, and it looks like I've kind of done that, but I, I could do a little bit better of a job, so I'm gonna do that really quick. Now for the most part today, I'm actually using just store-bought. I have a ton of wood uh, outside on my property that I have in piles out there, but it needs to be cut and I just didn't get to it this year. I do have some here that I will use once the fire gets very, very hot, but to start, I'm going to take these little pieces that I keep around. I'm gonna grab a couple of these and I'm going to lay them. By the way, I'm not an expert. This is just what I do that has worked really well. And I also should not be wearing a white shirt. I am not above cheating. So I use a couple of these sticks. They're called Fatwood and I get them off of Amazon. What I do is I kind of make a little zigzag so that they connect on top there. And then I am going to add two more smaller logs, basically in a an ax like that. Then I'm going to add a small but yet substantial log at the top of this. And this is gonna be my first log that I'm burning. My goal with making fire is essentially just to get it hot enough in here so that whatever I add, whether it's a giant log or a stump, will just instantly burn. So now I'm gonna just put one more piece of the fat wood right in there. And then I have these sticks, they just light very, very fast. I'm gonna put one of those in there to kind of thread to some of the other pieces of fat wood. I like to use long matches, but I forget to buy them, and so sometimes I just use a lighter because then you're able to stick the lighter in there, get it lit. But anyway, I think that the, the shape that I've made here, it really allows for the oxygen to, to keep the fire going, and I usually don't have to check on it until I add another log, maybe after the first, like, I don't know, 30 minutes. Basically, at this point, I will either close the door all the way, depending on how strong I think the fire is, or sometimes I will leave the door open just a little bit so that that teeny little crack of oxygen is coming in. All right, I'm gonna leave it here like this for a while. Okay, it's not even been a few seconds and it's going so well, I'm gonna go ahead and shut the door and just let it go like this. I am going to add another log at this point. I like where it's going. I don't think this is probably hot, but if it is, I have this little pot holder that I use here to just open it like that. Yeah, I like what's happening underneath, but we could put another log on top. Okay, I've selected this one. I'm going to thread it in like that. And then I'm going to use this poker to lift it up. Lift it up. <laughs> no! Oh no! Bad things have happened. Sometimes this just happens and you have to just kind of adjust. So, there. I think it'll be fine. All right, there we go. Okay. 
Okay, it's been probably 45 minutes, maybe an hour, and I think I'm gonna put a big guy on top here. <laughs> there we go. Poker him over. Leave it a little off center so it doesn't get smothered. And that should be good for, gosh, it might go for a while now because I've technically got three big logs in there. I will check in in a bit. Okay, it's been a couple of hours and I have not put another log on uh, because it's plenty hot here. So essentially I'm just trying to keep the fire going until the evening. So now this is sort of like maintenance mode. When the log gets like this, I take this guy and I just break it. And then I've got this whole bed of hot coals. I can put almost anything in here and it's gonna catch on fire. We'll go with this guy. He is solid, but I feel good. I feel like it's really hot in here. Now just get him in there on the coals. Quickly shut the door before he bursts into flames. You can only see the reflection of my presence in the background that I'm wrapping and it has caught on fire now. Nice. All right. <laughs> I ended up adding two more just teeny sticks and now I've created an inferno. I did not anticipate this and this room is very hot. Basically anything you put in now I feel like is gonna catch on fire like this and burn for several hours. The tree lights are not on yet but I suspect the next time I check in it'll probably even be getting dark. It is so hot in here now, and this log is just like molten underneath. Wow, all of those coals are turning into ash. I thought I would have a bunch more coal still. I'm gonna throw on a giant guy, I think. There we go, and then that's basically it. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Yeah! Ugh, there it goes. That log will probably burn for, for many hours, and yes, the tree is on now. Okay, it's been a few hours and I put another couple logs on and it's not catching on fire. So when this happens, all I do is I open it and then usually the air will light it. Come on. Dang it, my neighbor came to the door and we were talking about the exterior of my cabin and I came back in and this is what's happened. So whatever. Okay, this is going to be my last check-in of the evening. It is very late now, and basically, I just broke all of these coals up. Those are incredibly hot. So I'm gonna put one more log on it, probably. Throw that on there, turn it. Oh, it's not focusing. Oh no, it lit, and it's not focused. Oh no! <laughs> oh, okay, well, that's all right. I'm gonna go. I will see you guys later, but thanks for watching. Bye.